crafty people, I have some Magnolia Tilda cards for you. This is the last of the batch. I told you guys I had 18 pre-prepped. So I did those um, altered projects and now I'm back to finishing up on the pre-prepped cards that I had kind of going on. So let me start with... And these are Magnolia, but then there's one random one. <laughs> All right. Here's the first one. And what I did was I made a crisscross easel card. So um, in here is a crisscross pocket. And I know it looks like it would be hard to make, but it's really easy. It's just... It takes a little bit more time and it takes a little bit more patience. If you're interested in learning how to make this card, I can do a tutorial. I'm, I'm actually um, interested in starting to do more tutorials. So let me know what you guys think. So the pull-up mat, you can either write a message on, but you don't need to. This could actually be for a photo. Um, and then we have our sentiment, salt in the air, sand in my hair. Uh, my little Tilda, I added some burlap. Um, flowers from Recollections, and this is a great die. I'm not sure who it's by. Um, I apologize. And then this is a shaped Spellbinders die. It pops up on some little seashell. Uh, that was a little seashell necklace I picked up at Michael's. I had a whole bunch on it. And then your sentiment area. So that's why I said you can write your message here and then maybe put a photo on back here, or you could write a message and and you know if you wanted to write more you could put it on there so that's card number one card number two is similar it is a crisscross card with a different this is a la la land um die and both the other one and this one to me remind me of kind of a seashell um pattern um, same sentiment, only this time I cut it round and I put my seashells around it with a little bit of lace. Um, I have a little mermaid Tilda from uh, many moons ago. She's been around for a long, long time. And the tag slash photo map pulls out like this and it's got the flowers on it. Slides right back in to that pocket very nicely. And pops up on that seashell um, necklace again and the sentiment area. So that's card number two. Card number three is um, similar again. This die, everybody asks me about this die when I show it. And it is retired. Um, it's an, a Grand Nestability Spellbinder die. Uh, but it is retired. So again, I did the crisscross. Um, I went ahead and purchased this sentiment from the artist who does this paper collection. Um, it's $5 just for this sentiment. That's it. The sentiment, five bucks. But make a wish upon a starfish. I just loved it. <laughs> I thought it would be great. Um, so I don't wear this one out over here too much. <laughs> so um, I think back here... If I can get my my tag, ah, I haven't had a, a blooper in a while, but apparently I got some glue. All right, so I used, I think this is a Heartfelt Creations die back here. I just added a flower for a pull tab. And that slides back down in there. And then of course, again, these are the La La Land um, dies, just a couple of random flowers but I thought the sentiment was amazing. Pops up on seashells and then there's a sentiment area. So that's card number three. Now I have one more Magnolia card, but I'm gonna show you the random card real quick because <laughs> it's not gonna fit into any video, but I had this um, digital um, image a long time ago and I had printed it up and I, I, a lot of times I'll do that. I'll just get bored and I'll print a bunch of images and I'll put them in a drawer. And I was going through my stuff and um, I found it and was like, I have to make a card with this. So here it is. 
Um, so super cute. I don't know who who drew that up, but look how he has lip, lipstick on his collar. So cute. And I had this paper collection from the same artist, Fru Fru Crafts, that did that does most of the papers that I've been using lately. And um, it was coffee-themed paper. So I went ahead and um, used it and made a gatefold um, card. All right, there we go. So that is the card <laughs> when it opens up. That's the sentiment area. Really cute. It comes already clustered for you. And then there is a pull-out photo mat in the back. I used the coffee cup right in the center of my punch. So perfect. And so when you open it, it opens flat like that. But this actually pivots. And so when you turn it over, it looks like that. And I just thought that image was so, um, so cute. So I wanted to show that to you. Um, I will be listing that on, I'll be listing all these cards on eBay. So um, if you're interested in any of these cards, they do go quickly. All right. So my last card, um, I used another collection from this artist uh, digital paper artist and this is a enchanted ocean I think is what this collection is called um, so I had colored up this Tilda mermaid she's so cute and I made her with the purple hair and the purple let's see her little there she is upside down um, and I made her into a shaker um, just did a lot of layering. I did use, obviously, uh, I used purple glitter paper and blue glitter paper. Um, this is a, I believe this is a Heartfelt Creations die. And, um, just some lace and pearls and she pops up on pearl trim and there is the sentiment area. All right, my crafty friends. Let me know what you think. I love it if you tell me which one is your favorite and if you want to tell me why. I like it even a lot more. <laughs> These are all so similar. But what I'd like for you to tell, to tell me is, do you like the old sentiment better, which is salt in the air, sand in my hair, or do you like the new sentiment, make a wish upon a starfish? Which one do you like better? And um, what do you think of this paper collection over here enchanted ocean so um i will link in the description box down below uh check out my ebay if you're interested in one of these cards or you can always private message me um it's better not to do it on youtube their private messaging is terrible but um you could do it through facebook or you can always email me my email is always in the description box down below happy scrappy day see you next time bye